Shark versus Crocodile. Who's the ultimate predator? Have you ever wondered who would win in a fight between a shark and a crocodile? Which of these ancient beasts truly rules the world of predators? Welcome to Bright Minds Station, where we break down the science behind the fiercest battles in nature. Today, we're diving into a prehistoric face-off between two of the planet's most powerful hunters, the shark and the crocodile. One is a streamlined terror of the open ocean. The other is a reptilian tank that waits in silence before striking with bone-crushing force. Both are perfectly evolved. Both are deadly. But only one can be called the ultimate predator. So buckle up, smash that like button like a croc snapping its jaws, subscribe for weekly wild battles, and let's get ready for the most epic matchup yet. Shark versus Crocodile. Ancient Origins. Both sharks and crocodiles have roots that go back hundreds of millions of years. Sharks are some of the oldest surviving creatures on Earth. Their ancestors first appeared over 450 million years ago, long before dinosaurs ever roamed the land. In fact, sharks existed before trees even evolved, and they've survived five mass extinction events, adapting each time and returning even stronger. Crocodiles, while not quite as ancient, are also evolutionary survivors. Their ancestors showed up around 240 million years ago, living alongside dinosaurs like the T-Rex. When the asteroid wiped out most life, crocodiles somehow endured and continued to dominate rivers, lakes, and swamps around the globe. These two aren't just predators, they're living fossils, designed by nature to outlast time. In a battle between ancient resilience, it's clear, both are champions of survival. Bite Power when it comes to raw biting force, these animals are in a league of their own. Sharks, especially the great white, have multiple rows of razor sharp teeth that constantly regenerate. Over a lifetime, a shark can lose and replace up to 30,000 teeth. That's like having a full set of weapons that never get dull. A great white can bite with up to 4,000 PSY, strong enough to crush a bowling ball. Their teeth are designed to slice through flesh like butter, making them expert cutters. But crocodiles bring a whole different kind of bite. The saltwater crocodile, the largest of all croc species, has the strongest bite ever recorded in the animal kingdom, around 3,700 pounds per square inch. While their teeth aren't as sharp as a shark's, they're made for gripping and crushing bone. Once they clamp down, it's almost impossible to escape. So who wins here? It's a close one. The shark has speed and slicing precision, but the croc's crushing jaws are pure power, brain power, and strategy. A predator's mind can be just as dangerous as its muscles. Sharks have incredibly developed senses and surprising intelligence. They can detect one drop of blood in a million drops of water, and their electroreception allows them to pick up tiny electrical signals from prey hiding under sand. Many species of shark also show learning behaviors and strategic hunting in groups, but crocodiles take brain power to another level. These reptiles are master ambushers, learning the habits of their prey and even using tools. That's right. Crocs have been observed balancing sticks on their snouts to lure in birds looking for nesting material. Once close, the croc strikes with perfect timing. Crocodiles have also been seen coordinating attacks and adapting to different environments. While both animals are smarter than they look, the croc's use of tools and patience-based ambush tactics gives it a brilliant edge in strategic hunting. Speed and movement. Speed can be the difference between life and death in the wild. In the water, sharks are the kings of motion. The great white shark can reach speeds of up to 25 miles per hour in short bursts, using its torpedo-shaped body to glide through the ocean with minimal drag. Its entire body is built for sleek, efficient motion. From its powerful tail fin to its scale-covered skin that reduces friction. Crocodiles, while not as fast in the water, can sprint on land up to 20 miles per hour for short distances. In water, their speed drops to about 6 to 7 miles per hour, which is still fast for their size. However, they specialize in short-range surprise attacks, launching their entire body toward prey in milliseconds. So, who has the edge? In open water, the shark dominates. But on the riverbank or in shallow, murky water, the crocodile's ambush sprint makes it deadly. Defense and armor? Who's built to survive? A predator's ability to take a hit is just as important as its attack. 
Sharks are covered in dermal denticles, which are tiny tooth-like scales that make their skin rough to the touch. These not only help them move faster, but also give them light protection from scrapes and parasites. But when it comes to real armor, crocodiles are the undisputed champs. Their bodies are lined with osteoderms, thick, bony plates under the skin that act like natural armor. It's the closest thing in nature to wearing medieval chainmail. These armored scales protect them from rival attacks, other crocs, and even human weapons in some cases. In a head-to-head -head clash, the croc's armor could absorb bites that would fatally wound a shark. Defense goes to the crocodile. It's a walking tank. Senses and hunting style. Every apex predator needs elite senses. Sharks are equipped with some of the most advanced hunting tools in nature. Their ability to detect electrical signals, track blood from miles away, and sense movement through water is unmatched. They also have excellent hearing for low-frequency sounds and can detect changes in water pressure to pinpoint prey. But crocodiles have their own set of superpowers. Their snouts are covered in pressure sensors, allowing them to feel even the smallest ripple in the water. They also have night vision, perfect for sneaky after-dark ambushes. Crocs don't chase, they lie in wait, letting their prey come to them. It's stealth versus scan, patience versus precision. In a fast-moving hunt, the shark may win. But in a surprise ambush, the croc gets the upper hand. Special attacks. Neither sharks nor crocodiles use venom, but crocodiles have a weapon just as frightening. The death roll. Once a croc grabs hold of its prey, it spins its entire body at high speed, ripping and tearing flesh, breaking bones, and causing total disorientation. There's almost no escape from a croc's grip once the death roll begins. Sharks, by comparison, rely on repeated slashing attacks. They bite, retreat, and circle again, targeting weak spots and bleeding prey out slowly. Their teeth may not hold, but they cause maximum damage with every strike. The death roll gives the crocodile a brutal finishing move, while the shark's attack is more tactical and surgical. It's power versus precision, and both are equally terrifying in their own way. Territory clash. So where could a shark and crocodile actually cross paths? Sharks are ocean predators and prefer saltwater habitats, while crocodiles mostly dominate freshwater rivers, swamps, and estuaries. But there's a fascinating overlap. The saltwater crocodile can travel into the ocean and live in brackish, mixed water. And estuaries, where rivers meet the sea, become the perfect battleground. In these muddy, murky waters, visibility is low, and both predators could use stealth to launch attacks. A shark might swim by unaware, only to be grabbed by a croc lying just beneath the surface. Or a croc might not see the shark coming and get struck first. It's the perfect setting for a showdown, where terrain could decide the winner more than strength. The final verdict. At the end of the day, both animals are masters of their own worlds. The shark is a speed-based slicing machine with unmatched senses in the ocean. The crocodile is an armored strategist, using strength and ambush to dominate freshwater territories. This battle isn't just about which animal is stronger, it's about how evolution shapes creatures to perfectly fit their environment. One is swift, the other silent. One slices, the other crushes, and both are living legends of survival. So here's your final challenge. Would you rather swim with sharks for one minute or be in the water with a crocodile for just 10 seconds? Think carefully and tell us your answer in the comments. If you love this battle, we got even bigger showdowns coming soon. But before that, hit that like button. If you learned something new, subscribe to Bright Mind Station, the home of wild science, epic battles, and brain-powered fun. Ring that bell to join us for the next wild debate. Until next time, stay smart, stay curious, and always stay bright.